how to AI proof your career when in the next five to 10 years, many of us will probably be bored and unemployed because AI does everything for you. One of the biggest economic impacts of AI in the coming years is that it will change the job landscape forever. Experts estimated that 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't been invented yet. Just like you, I'm scared. In this video, I'll share with you my ideas as a five-step framework to help us navigate in the age of AI. Okay, let me ask ChatGPT how to AI proof tech careers. Just kidding. Gartner recently published a graph about the AI hype cycle in 2023. 2023 is probably the peak of the hype. It is the peak of the inflated expectation for generative AI and smart robots. This is exactly why we are worrying about AI and robots replacing programmers, data scientists, data analysts, and perhaps all professions altogether. However, if I read this graph right, there will be a time where these technologies will go through disillusionment. And we may realize that AI is not really replacing us, but it will take our job to a different level. Will more jobs be created than destroyed? No one knows the answer to that question. The people who learn how to use the technology are probably going to be the people who replace the people who don't learn how to use the technology. In the job market right now, I think there's an unspoken skill gap that many employers don't even realize. You won't notice this skill gap in the current job descriptions. By skill gap, I mean the difference between the current in-demand skills, which you may already have to some extent, and the skills you will need to do the job in the next few years. This gap can be different for different industries and different jobs because they may have different levels of exposure to AI. So the first step is to identify the missing skills you need to learn, preferably now. Simply speaking, this skill gap consists of knowing how to use AI in what AI can do and doing well in what AI cannot do. This first component, many people already pointed out. AI will not replace you, but a person using AI will. Soon we'll see the requirements being able to use AI tools effectively as being standard in most job descriptions. An interesting quote by the CEO of Baidu also goes, in 10 years, half the world's jobs will be in prompt engineering, and those who cannot write prompts will be obsolete. So by now, we should be quite comfortable with using AI in a variety of tasks, understand its strengths and weaknesses. You're also familiar with the structure of a strong prompt for language models, as shown in this example. If you know how to code, you can learn to work with the APIs and use more advanced prompt engineering techniques such as chain of thought prompting, in-context prompting with own knowledge base, and automatic prompt engineering. That is to teach the language model to come up with a prompt for you. Plugins like ChatGPT advanced data analysis are also useful for people in the data field. Learning how to use the AI in the current tooling and platforms, especially knowing to use them to optimize your workflow and even even teaching those skills to your colleagues and others will definitely help you stay relevant. The tools are only as good as how you use them. AI is no different. By the way, if you're looking to level up your coding and data analysis skills in a guided program, I'd like to shout out to the sponsor of this video, Career Foundry. Career Foundry is an online learning platform. They have a data analytics program, which is a flexible four to eight month program that teaches you the mindset, the processes and tools to become a data analyst. You get paired with dedicated experts in the field and have online lessons that go over all the basic concepts and hands-on assignments, you learn tools like SQL, Python, Excel, Tableau, and GitHub for data analysis work. It is a flexible program you can do in your own schedule. You book calls with your mentor at times that suit you, and you get personalized written and video feedback throughout the program. In this program, you also have a dedicated course on job preparation. There's a Slack community of fellow students who are taking the program, so you won't be alone in this learning journey. And a really cool thing about this program is the job guarantee. You get the job within six months of graduating, or Career Foundry will refund the cost of the program. So I think this is an excellent option if you want a more structured and more guaranteed approach to learning data analytics. So check out their program in the description below. The second component of the skill gap focuses on doing well what AI cannot do. Despite popular press about job losses and AI, it's not likely that AI can replace humans in everything in any job, at least not in the near future. A job is a collection of many small 
more tasks. A programmer doesn't just write code, but he performs a whopping 17 tasks, according to Onet, including debugging, consulting with others to clarify program intent, conducting trial runs of programs, and writing documentation. AI can write programs, but it's not likely to replace the programmer in all other tasks as well. This article by Harvard Business Review points out four skills the next generation of data scientists need to develop. And I honestly think this can be generalized to any professions. The four skills are problem spotting, that is seeing the real issue by asking the right questions, understanding context, and making connections. Problem scoping, gaining clarity and specificity on the problem. Problem shepherding, getting updates and gathering feedback. And finally, solution translating, speaking in the language of the audience and storytelling. I think with the help of AI to speed up all the mundane tasks, we will have more mental space to think about the bigger picture and use our human intuition to look at the problems more creatively. I don't know if one day AI can have consciousness and have real empathy, but for now, I guess this is what humans are better at. The tech world changes faster than I can finish a cup of coffee. It's important to keep up by dedicating time to learn every week. Learn to use AI, but also use AI to learn. Dive deep into the basics of AI, understand its strengths and limitations. Sites like Coursera, edX, and yes, even YouTube, you're here, aren't you? Are great places to start for free. Another essential source for learning is books. In general, we have better chance of getting to ground truth with books than with other media. The internet suffers from a chronic thing called SEO, or search engine optimization. Many articles are written by people who have nothing to do with the topic. They write the articles just for the sake of getting ranked on the Google search results. In addition, we can expect more and more articles on the internet to be written by AI without us even knowing it. This can be noticed from the recent change in the Google data policy. It no longer guarantees the search content is written by people. With books, the bar for the content is often higher, there's more tension to copyright and authorship, but still there's no guarantee. Also, books don't get published fast enough to be up to date, so choose your materials wisely when it comes to learning. Also, don't forget to use AI to get your hands dirty in coding and any creation project. Although it has its limitations, generative AI tools can help you a lot as a co-pilot and as an assistant for learning. One thing I realized is AI is very good at teaching you the beginner mindset. So many times I find ChatGPT can explain things so much more clearly and beginner-friendly than I can which is something I can learn from. The beginner mindset is also how AlphaGo, an AI player, defeated the human Go master in 2016. Go is a Chinese game, invented 3,000 years ago. It's an extremely complex game. The number of configurations of this game is, is more, more than, than the number, number of atoms in the known universe. universe. No one would ever think a computer could beat humans in this game anytime soon. Yet in 2016, AlphaGo did it, exactly because it seemed so dumb. The computer makes moves that human player would never thought of. It disregards all the rules and conventions of the game. So this story reminds us that we sometimes also need to break rules that we set for ourselves and start with a beginner mindset. As you continue learning, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Although there's value in being really good at one skill, there's no guarantee that that skill will not be obsolete or automated by AI. Remember, 85% of jobs in 2030 haven't been invented yet. I think it's actually safer to learn relatively well a combination of skills. The broader your skills, the more indispensable you become. But it is not to learn any skills. There's a strategy called the Trident Strategy. That is, being in the top 10% of a combination of two to three skills. Also aim for skills that don't overlap as this will make you more unique. The skills can come from separate domains, separate disciplines, and they can be hard skills versus soft skills and so on. Just to give you an example, maybe in the next few years, one of the in-demand jobs will be something like AI hardware specialist who knows stuff about hardware, 
security and AI. Or maybe the in-demand job would be some kind of specialized yoga teachers who can teach yoga in the way that computer nerds like you and me can actually understand. I'm not entirely sure about this one, but just to make the point that a diverse skill set could open doors to something new and make you indispensable. Nowadays, people no longer stay with the same job all their working lives. With AI, I think this will only become more and more normal and even necessary to have multiple careers throughout your life. And not to mention that your diverse skills can also give you opportunities to take on freelancing work, which could potentially become more and more popular. The next step in this transition is build your network because as someone says your network is your net worth attend workshops webinars and conferences network with peers share your ideas and projects I never regret going to a conference before in my life every time I would learn something new get to know some interesting people who tell me about the cool new things that I didn't know before and even offered me jobs and assignments so if you want to stay relevant in the coming years it's important to exercise the very human skill that is connecting with others. Build a strong network that can support you and give you the information you need to navigate your career. We are still in the very early days of AI and it's really hard to predict how things will turn out, but I think it's important to be positive and think of this as an opportunity to reinvent yourself or to discover a new interest or a new path for yourself. Two years ago in the COVID-19 pandemic, I decided to start this YouTube channel. And this has been one of the best, the best decisions that I've made in my life. And so I've learned that in any crisis, in any transition, lie the opportunities. And so I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please hit the thumbs up. And if you don't, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.